a meeting to discuss solutions to end deadly cattle raids. After over 10 years of quiet, cattle rustling has made a comeback in Karamoja sub-region in Uganda's northeast. Raiders have taken advantage of the conflict in neighboring South Sudan and lawlessness in Kenya's northwest to arm themselves, seizing thousands of animals from defenseless herders. They attack our cows because we don't have arms to protect them. Most crowds here have been raided. I have lost friends and cows. Cows have for years been at the heart of conflict and stability in a region that does not have much else. Over 200 people have been killed in the raids, including 68 in June alone. The Ugandan military said it would intensify operations to hunt and disarm the bandits. We, we have deployed a mobile force to intercept all of those uh, uh, raids. And uh, most of the cases in this uh, mobile force, that's when we get contact uh, with these uh, aggravated robbers. Herders now live in fear and have had to move their animals close to army posts for protection. The raids have been so frequent that most herds have virtually run out of cows. They're only keeping small animals, as you can see, these sheep and goats. One raid triggers a revenge raid, and then you have an endless cycle of violence rattling a region that is already the least developed in Uganda. Activists are concerned about a military escalation and rights abuses. As uh, disarmament gets considered, it's important that a shorter effective disarmament period uh, is considered in which a full uh, level of resources is dedicated uh, to that process so that we can have a quick end uh, to the disarmament problem. Experts have warned that the latest violence could have serious consequences for the region and hinder plans to end decades of underinvestment in Karamoja. Ronald Kato for Africa News in northeastern Uganda.